At this moment in your life, where are you seeking advice and coaching? It was incredible what I learned from my clients. I learned so much from them about what their challenges are, what they're doing, that it informs me, you know, personally and professionally yeah. in terms of where I'd like to go. And I spend so much time with my clients that and that's part of it. You know, when I go and I do an instruction on leadership or diversity, I learn just as much from them yeah. as they learn from me. Uh, when we were at State Department recently, we did this incredible, I loved what we did, it's such a great idea and I hadn't done it before, is I, I gave them a suggestion because what we do is we talk about different biases that exist in the workplace. And I usually give them examples. I go in and I give them, you know, these are what we have from various clients. And someone came to me and said, you know, well, State Department, you know, we're a little bit different. We're, we operate a little bit differently and we have a different culture. Mm -hmm. So these aren't necessarily relevant to us. And then I said, okay, well, you go to your team and you get all the examples of what their challenges are. Yeah. Um, and I didn't realize how valuable that would be for me to just be able to learn wow, these are very interesting challenges. Yeah. And then we worked through with them. They didn't have the framework with which to come up with solutions. So that's where we were really offering help uh, in the diversity space and sort of these microaggressions and things that were happening in their mm -hmm. offices. Uh, so we worked with them to come up with it. But wow, I learned an incredible amount that day just by asking, by having them come up with a lot of the examples of what they were struggling with.